Bobby Johnson. I love you. Having already raised three kids of her own, she's now raising two more. We have to play nice. Her grandkids. But let's rewind to when she found out her daughter was pregnant. It was really a mixed emotions, right? On one hand, she and her husband were excited to soon take on the honorary titles of grandma and grandpa. But at the same time, we knew that our daughter was struggling with substance use disorder. Still, everything seemed fine. <laughs> when little Elena was born, we just thought things were on the up and up. But when Chase was born, we definitely suspected that um, the continued use was going on. Bobby's daughter needed treatment. At that time, they were 13 months old and four days old. With no one else around, um, birth dad was actually incarcerated. Bobby and her husband stepped up. I had to relearn, you know, just what formula to use. Okay, you ready? Okay, ready? <laughs> also, like car seats, knowing how to put them in. You know, my eyes don't work as well as they used to. <laughs> and so the snaps on their onesies, super hard. Um, there's a reason why people say you should have children when you're young. Not to mention, Bobby was working a full-time job. Oftentimes, I worked from his crib side. There are over 90,000 families in Pennsylvania alone that where the grandparent is raising uh, a grandchild, or in several cases, in many cases, grandchildren. Peanut butter and jelly this morning while we're playing? Yeah? It is a growing demographic across the uh, country and across this region. They're called kinship caregivers. According to Bobby, the Area Agency on Aging has services to help those 55 and up, but not any for those just shy of that number, like her. According to AARP, there are approximately 53 million unpaid familial caregivers in the U.S., with 1.5 million of those caregivers residing in the Commonwealth. And where do they go for help? Deciding to become that answer, Bobby created REST. Which stands for Resources to Empower, Support, and Transform Kinship Families. The point is to provide support and help where we can. Especially to informal kinship caregivers. Those would be the people, um, honestly, like ourselves, who saw what happened, what was happening, intervened, sought emergency custody. On their own. While with formal kinship caregivers, the county intervenes and seeks out family members to care for the children. And because of that, those people do receive daily stipends to help with the financial burden. The statistics show that for every one person or every one child that's in a formal foster care setting, there are at least 10 children who are placed with families in an informal basis. Leaving them to bear the cost of diapers, formula, bottles, daycare. According to Bobby, REST provides support groups, informs caregivers about what community resources are available to them, and facilitates bringing families back together again. Really, I'm just so excited to share that my daughter is, is just doing amazingly well. Um, she has recently gotten shared custody of the children back, and she's just flourishing. Reporting for WTAJ News, I'm Alyssa Royster.